Hello everyone, welcome to the start of a new reading vlog. It is just after 2 p.m. I just got done working for the day, thank God. Um, so I won't be up for that late tonight, probably. I never updated you on The Knife of Never Letting Go and my progress on that in the end of last week's reading vlog. Um, so I did finish it last night, Sunday night, and I enjoyed it immensely. It's funny, the whole time that that series has been on my TBR list for like, at the very least, it's been on there for five years, if not longer than that. Um, I thought it was dystopian. It's not, <laughs> it's science fiction. And I just, just the way everyone described it, for some reason it came out as dystopian in my brain. It is not. The Knife of Never Letting Go, the Chaos Walking Trilogy by Patrick Ness is, science fiction which is nice because now I have another happy enjoyment at least for the first book positive note on sci-fi because I don't dally into that genre as often as I should um, so yeah I gave that one four, uh, four stars it wasn't quite a five star read for me just because some a lot of little things added up that I didn't like that were more of a you're supposed to not like this Thing, but it just didn't rub with me the same way or in a way that I know that it's not supposed to be liked and it adds to the experience. It just rubbed me the wrong way. But it's still a four star read. <laughs> I still enjoyed it a lot. Um, so I finished that one last night and I started uh, maybe someday this morning. I'm a chapter into it. I'm not very far at all. I haven't gotten very far. And I also picked up Anya and the Dragon. I haven't started reading it, but I brought it with me to work in the off chance that I would get some time to read it physically. I didn't. But, uh, so yeah, that'll be my next read as well, along with maybe someday. Um, I'm definitely planning on finishing those both this week at some point, um, as well as maybe starting a third book and We'll, we'll see. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this clip. Anyways, welcome to the start of a new reading vlog. I have to go home and edit and upload last week's reading vlog now and somehow find the energy to do so. Although I'm feeling a little bit better now that I'm not constantly walking around at full speed. I'll check in with you tomorrow. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. It is Tuesday morning, 5.30 to be specific. Uh, I get morning shifts this week, so that's why I'm up so early. I'm about to leave for work, but I thought I'd give you a quick update on where I left off. Reading-wise, I am about 15% into Anya and the Dragon, and about 20% into Maybe Someday, and I'm really enjoying both of them. Maybe Someday. I keep getting it confused with song titles. It's Maybe Someday. I'm really enjoying it. I was pleasantly surprised when I found out that Ridge is deaf. Um, I didn't notice that in any of the summaries. I don't think it was mentioned or I just wasn't paying attention when I read the summaries or I've never actually listened to someone go in depth in summarizing the book. So, I don't know. I'm really enjoying that aspect of it and the diversity and how <laughs> this book could easily be covering the disabled box for the bingo card for the ACMC readathon. Not that I myself personally enjoy calling deaf people disabled because I do not, for the most part, believe that they should immediately be labeled as such, as a lot of deaf people that I know personally uh, do not consider themselves disabled. They're just deaf. It's a different thing. They're not handicapped either. I just, I, ver I take issue with the fact that a lot of deaf people are just kind of lumped in to being called disabled, but they don't see their identity as a disability. Anyways, so I'm really enjoying Call Me. Maybe someday. I keep wanting to call it Call Me Maybe. I, it's not Call Me Maybe. Maybe someday. <laughs> so I have a day off tomorrow, so I will likely be getting more reading done tonight and tomorrow. I'm planning on filming my video for Friday tomorrow too. Don't know what it is going to be yet. I have no idea. Um, I have, well, I have an idea that I would like to do, 
but we'll see if that actually happens or if I change my mind and do something else. I won't tell you in case it isn't actually what I'm planning on doing because I do that as well often. So I will go to work now and check up on you later today once I've done a little bit more reading. Good morning. It is about 5.30 again this morning. Uh, Thursday morning. It's Thursday. I entirely skipped a day just because I didn't do too much of anything yesterday. I was not feeling well, so I didn't end up filming the video for Friday like I planned. I'll be doing that later today uh, after I'm done working. Um, but aside from that, the only thing I have to update you on is that I finished maybe someday yesterday. It was good. I enjoyed it overall. It wasn't my favorite. Uh, wasn't my favorite Colleen Hoover book so far, though I've only read two. So it's not a huge basis of judgment available there for range. But anyways, so I finished that book. I'm still reading Anya and the Dragon. I didn't read any of it at all yesterday. Um, so hopefully I'll read a little bit more of it today and make progress on that. Probably pick up another book as well sometime. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know when that'll be sometime today. Li likely after I'm done working, but when I do, I'll update you on that, tell you what I'm reading, and maybe have some progress for Anya and the Dragon. Doubtful though, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, yep, so that's basically all I have to say. I'm just waiting for my car to heat up so I can leave because it got colder again where I live. It's just how it goes. I shouldn't be surprised, and I'm not because I saw it coming on the weather forecast anyways. Um, but yeah, I'll check in with you later. All right, good morning. Welcome back to another 5.30 a.m. checkup. It is Friday now, and I haven't made any progress with Anya and the Dragon since yesterday. I did film my video that I needed to film, so that's good. Um, but I have to edit it today and upload it, so that may take up a chunk of my time. Uh, otherwise, I have started my reread of Briar's book, which is book four in the Circle of Magic Quartet, and I'm really enjoying it. And it's a really short and quick read, so I reckon it won't take me very long to get through. Um, but yeah, otherwise I'm gonna keep trying to make time to read Anya and the Dragon and Briar's book, and I'll check back in with you tomorrow.